concept from 10.30 p.m. until 9.30 a.m. Finally, I slept through the night. Jet lag gone. I'm so happy, I'm so excited. The weather is beautiful, it is Sunday. It's already 10.30 now, it took me a while to get ready. Here I am walking to Ladybirds. I'm gonna have brunch there. Hopefully I can get a table for one. <laughs> if not, there's always many, many, many other options to have breakfast. Oh my God, it is hot today. And yeah, this is the outfit. This is the, the top that I bought. I love it. And what's the plan for today? Well, I never really have a plan, but today I thought I'm just gonna go to Central Park because I haven't been yet. And I just wanna lay in the grass and read my book that I bought at the airport in LA. And yeah, so my book is in here in my new tote bag. So yeah, it will mostly be chilling in Central Park and everyone is jaywalking here so that's that's okay. I found this place and I love it. I think I need to check it out. I mean I really want to eat that ladybird but this looks very tempting. Maybe I come here tomorrow. Oh and there's a snail. Alright, so this place is so cool and so inviting and the vibe and oh my god, I love it so much but I wanted to go to Ladybirds, so I'm, I'm still going there but while I'm walking there I'm hoping that <laughs> they don't have a table for me and I have to come back for this. French toast. It was a tough choice between the French toast and the matcha waffles. I wish I had someone with me who had the matcha waffles because I want to see them and try them. Honestly, worth every cent of the $45 that I spent in there, including tip. It is such a pretty place. Oh my God, is it beautiful. And I dare you to find a prettier bathroom in New York City. I mean, this is the, this is the prettiest bathroom ever. So they also have dinner. And I'm thinking of coming back for dinner one day because it's really nice. I mean, you should bring a date coming here because it's very, very romantic. Food, of course, was really, really good too. So thank you, Chantal from New York, please, to recommend this awesome, very, very pretty place. Reporting live from Tompkins Square Park. It is Sunday and we've got markets here today. There you have it. for the peach because I've got cash now and I will eat that peach in Central Park reading my book. Could this day get any better? I'm actually, I'm, I'm literally so happy I could cry. So they've got a jazz festival here with a stage and they're sound checking right now. Very cool, very cool. Lots of free music in New York. You don't really have to pay for anywhere. It's like it's all there. So much culture. I love it. All right, so this is not Central Park. This is Bloomingdale's, but it was on the way. So I just ended up here for a little bit. It happens. Got sidetracked. I mean, cargo jeans 
a happy Austrian flag on them. I need them. Oh my god, I love them. But $500. This is happening. it now because we are behaving ourselves and we are going to Central Park now to get some sunshine. It is 3 p.m. now and I'm sti I still haven't seen Central Park from all the shopping. So now, now I'm going. If I find my way out of here, where am I? I don't know where I am. Aha, I see lights at the end of the tunnel. Alrighty, I'm walking to the park. I can see it in front of me. And this is Park Avenue, so that's definitely a good sign. I think we're gonna finally make it. It's the Metropolitan Club. So, I mean, join the club if you want to be fancy. Looks very fancy. I mean, this is such a grown up area here, east of the park, if you have a lot of cash. Instantly smells so nice in here. I mean, it is a bit crowded today, but I'm also entering from the most, from the busiest corner of the park. And there are the billionaires. Hi. And I'm gonna find a nice spot now to read my book. And oh my god, I almost forgot. We have to visit the turtles. Of course, we have to visit. There's one sitting there. I didn't have to look for a long time. OMG, I only had to say turtle and <laughs> instantly, instantly I found one. And this is not Turtle Pond. I thought I always have to go to Turtle Pond to find them. But no, no, they're here, chilling with the ducks. There must be more in here then. Oh, there's three sitting there. I'm so happy today. This is I'm having such a good day. Oh, and there's more turtles. It shall it never ends. Hello. You was a good turtle. They might be in all the ponds. So yeah, that's new to me. I mean I've been to New York many times, but every time you learn some new turtle facts. And also for the first time I saw a pig nosed turtle. So I did not know that they are in the lakes here too. looks good to me and I can look at the billionaires and they can they can watch me aha shade perfect for a matcha latte or something refreshing. Afternoon snack time at Pret. We've got a chai oatmeal latte. We've got 
got this new chia pudding and we got pistachio, which I feel it's bad. Because I only had a small breakfast, I completely forgot to eat. And it's already 4.15. So I hope I'm not spoiling my appetite for dinner. Alright, so right now I'm walking underneath or like in front of Billionaire's Row. But it's hard to tell from here which ones are the super tall skyscrapers. The Marriott, that's a very nice place to stay, nice location because there's a park. Columbus Circle. And I wanted to have breakfast at this chain and I didn't know they have a branch here. Do I have enough breakfast left? Oh my god, because I want the Think Coffee bagel again that was so good. I mean, I think I still have four breakfasts. She'll be right, mate. Ah, so it does really translate to the daily bread. That's what my mom said. She was right, she was right. Oh, the Museum of Arts and Design. That actually sounds really, really interesting. Let's have a look. Alrighty, $20 admission. For the museum, it's, it looks really nice. I might go another time though, because now it's already almost 5 p.m. and I wanna do some more shopping. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. Actually, I'm mostly here for a bathroom, but I mean, one can always look. <laughs> I've been eating a lot in the last few days here, so gonna be me if I keep it up okay I know there's a bathroom here so I know my bathrooms in New York it's not my first rodeo oh JQ we will have to check this out after the bathroom maybe that's why it would be good to have a man with me who would just tell me what the fuck is wrong with your woman like stop shopping stop spending all the money but I don't have a man with me who can stop me so I can do whatever I want whatever the beep I want within reason, within reason people but there's a bathroom before what a relief anyway, as I was saying like when I die, do I want people to say she was always so reasonable or do I want them to say oh my god, she was so much fun let me know in the comments which one it is but for now, I'm just assuming it's fun and I will do a little bit more shopping because shopping is fun. There you have it, I was reasonable, I didn't buy anything. So I think I'm a good mix of reasonable and insane. Austrians, Swarovski, Austrian, Wolford, also Austrian, this girl, also Austrian. Alright, enough shopping for today and now I'm heading to Chinatown for more shopping. <laughs> I mean, I will have a look at souvenirs and stuff, but uh, no, mostly I'm going there because I want to go and have nice Chinese dinner there. Aha, super tall skyscraper, there he is. But again, I would not want to live in there because they bend in the wind and it's like, it is, it is scary. And here we have a summary of what I do here in New York, mostly. Just like that, we are in China town. It's the perfect day. It is the perfect day, what can I say? It smells exactly like it smells in Hong Kong. 
I was just like, what's that smell? It reminds me of something. I mean, it's not a very pleasant smell. I was like, aha, Hong Kong. Anyway, but now we are bordering Little Italy, I think, because there's some Italian stuff happening. You actually hear people speak Italian here. I'm definitely craving pizza now. Oh, it really, really has an Italian bar. Maybe the smell of pizza. never been to Little Italy. I've been to Chinatown many times but somehow I've never been here in Italy, in the middle of Italy. And there's Broom Street. Does that mean we are in Aussie Town now? It does not look very Australian, but I mean it's Broom Street, so this is probably as close as it gets. Okay, big thumbs up from me for Little Italy. It's amazing, very, very cute, very Italian, good Italian vibes, and yes, I'm sure the pizza is very nice there. But I had pizza yesterday and I came here for Chinese food, so let's head back into Chinatown. Oh my god, this is Aussie town because there is Bondi Sushi Bar. So it is a little bit Aussie here. Maybe that's just a coincidence, but they are trying. We are trying as Aussies. We want to be seen here in New York City. And if you love Christmas as much as I do, it's always Christmas in here. Well, if I want Christmas on a hot day, I might as well just spend Christmas in Australia. So it's a no for me, I'm not in a mood for Christmas right now. And we are back on track in Chinatown, in Mott Street. I think I came here every single time I've been to New York, so we do not want to break that tradition, even though I see other options, but we have to go where I'm always going. Fed. The highlight were the spring rolls, I have to say. They were really, really, really good. I definitely recommend having the spring rolls when you eat there. I had the mushroom tofu dish, which was pretty good, but nothing too exciting. Next time I want something a bit more spicy. That's it for me. I'm gonna head back to the hotel or home and, and watch Sex and the City in bed, eating my pistachio chocolates that I've got here in my bag. Alrighty, I see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.